The Santa Anas are dry and hot winds that start when a high pressure driven cold front moves into Nevada's Great Basin. It pushes air down and to the west toward low pressure areas on the Southern California coast. As the air descends from altitudes of up to 8,000 feet, it's compressed and heats up by five degrees for every 1,000 feet it sinks, reaching temperatures as high as 100 degrees. Simultaneously, as the air channels through the mountain passes and canyons of the coastal ranges, it's squeezed, which causes it to accelerate and move even faster. The effect is similar to partially covering the nozzle of a garden hose, causing the water to spray out up to six times faster than it moves inside the hose. As the winds shoot out from the canyons, they can develop gust speeds up to 70 miles an hour. This means the winds could broadside a loaded semi-truck with more than 8,600 pounds of force, or enough to overturn it. But what makes the Santa Ana's most dangerous is that they are extremely dry. With humidity as low as 5%, that's about three times less than the average humidity in some deserts. Now combined with the heat, this lack of moisture can actually parch vegetation and turn it into fuel for wildfires. In fact, at times the Santa Ana's have spread wildfires at speeds of up to 5,000 acres per hour. In effect, torching areas larger than the city of San Diego in less than two days. And you've been Brainstorm. Sam Champion, The Weather Channel.